Hello everyone. Uh, I'm really excited to be here uh, in this conference. Uh, my name is Lam. I'm from Vietnam, from Saigon. So actually I'm founder of uh, Saigon Amps and currently I'm working in Certify.com as the senior data scientist. So, uh, yeah, okay, so, um, sorry I have to put the smart words here because I think you to see vectorization, a lot of deep learning, a neural network yesterday, and also have a good introduction from Martin. So, um, in daily basis, my work is um, related mostly on um, text understanding, machine learning, and it turns out that we can apply a lot of technique in, in text mining and NLP to, into the other space like music, fashion as well. So I just want to do a quick survey. How many of you already know word 2 vec dog 2 vec LDA 2 vec or anything 2 vec Just raise your hand. Okay, just a few of you, okay. And how many of you already use some kind of music streaming service? Pandora, Spotify, Spotify, yeah. Wow, yes, you guys like music already. Okay, so uh, in this talk, I will give you uh, yeah, a very quick introduction about work to back and how we can apply it into the music recommendation as well. Okay, in this talk, uh, the representation about the music here is not cover all the thing you see there. The lyrics, is the sound, spectrogram, the waveform, is a cover art. What I mentioned about music here is just the collection of songs, the sequence of songs like the sequence of words you see in the, the work to back. So it means work, one word is mean one song. So we try to build a mapper to convert the song, I mean the word here, into the vector space. And you can see that. Take example for, for the song from Adele, Make You Feel My Love. And you can convert it into some vector is 120, 1000 dimension. But actually, you can see the vector is not just a number. It can be the beautiful avatar like this matrix. Okay, because I, I will have the demo and live demo and live uh, ghost bay for you. So I just uh, very, do very quickly recap about work to banks. And if you guys want to dive into more detail, just uh, I give you some more reference. Okay, work to bank was invented by um, Mikolo in Google it's three years ago, I, I think. And you see that the philosophy is very simple. If you are telling me your friends, I can tell who you are. It's the same for the linguistic domain. We, we have a very, um, you know, traditional uh, distributional hypothesis. hypothesis. It's, you shall know a word by the company it keeps. So it's a long time ago, you see, from 1957. So take, take an example, a smart way of discovery and recommendation is my title, my, my talk. Title, and you can see that we can do work to back to learn the similarity between the contact and the given uh, the given context and the words. For example, the discovery, and in this context, we see that it's smart, it's a recommendation, and how how can we embed it into the same one space that we call the vector space? And how can we get this vector? Okay, so given a bunch of sentences, a bunch of documents, a bunch of paragraphs, and we can get uh, converted into the uh, dense vector. So I don't want to talk more about the vector and every, everything related to neural network now, because I think it's, yeah, it's enough. So the thing here is, given one word, you can get 100 or 1,000 number. It means the vector the list of number. So, if you want to try to play around, just get to this link. Um, this is a very well um, explanation from Ron Singh um, in Michigan University. 
and he had um, very good you say, uh, the package for embedded visual inspector and you can try it on the browser. It's really cool. So, why work to back is really cool? Okay, it's very simple math, even for the kids. You see that Vietnam, we have very, very fabulous, very largest cave, but it's not in China. We call it Sundong, and you can see it on the Good Morning America as well. We just do that, very simple mathematics. And the second thing is, uh, with the enough data, given the training data, you can have the, you can keep this, the latent, the hidden structure of, of the words you try to convert into the vector space. Take example for uh, analogies. In this case, the cat, dog, is some kind of animals. The Vivari, Beethoven is some kind of classical music. Okay, this is, should be a different type of category. The next thing is about um, um, great thing about work to back is you can do the translation from one space to another space. And with this, the compact representation, like dark is just uh, some number, three number like uh, point to 2.3, 5 uh, 5 5 7.5, something like that. And uh, the most important thing is, it's really sim simple to get the similarity between these factors, just dot product to get the, the score for, for, for getting um, the similarity between the vectors. Okay, so finally, uh, we have words is song, sentence is playlist, your playlist, your album, maybe your playlogs as well. So, nothing new. I get a lot of playlists, millions of playlists uh, over the SoundCloud, from the Spotify, something like that. And we can convert all the song into the, the vector space. And finally, this is the fun and profit part. Okay, discovery and re recommendation. You see, basically it's just the similarity, the distance between the D vector, your vector and your, your song, your vector and your artist, your vector and your album, very easily. Okay, and uh, luckily last week I heard that there is the, the, the talk from the I Heard Radio, they have to do the, already the same approach. In Spotify they did it already three years ago or two years ago. So, map everything you have now. The song is a vector, the playlist is a vector, the artist is a vector, the style of music, the genre of music is a vector. Everything in, into one universal vector space. And you can just query, searching, recommendation, everything you can do with that. So in this case, you can see that. I love Adele. I get a lot of songs from Adele. I love classical music. I have one vector for classical music. If I have my daughter, I also generate the young vector, young music vector for my daughter. I also generate a lot of uh, vector for playlists and for my uh, music style as well. So this is some kind of uni universal vector space. Okay, you can see that there is a lot of uh, so different um, uh, type of vector here. We have a, as a song level, general level, album, artist, and user. It's me. Okay, so you see, Lum, what is your music vector? Just see the beautiful avatar. Is it my music vector? And you can see it's on the, my Twitter avatar as well. So the application, maybe the next time you get, don't need to have the cover art. You just generate, generate the new avatar for the song. So you see that I already mentioned a lot of application. Playlist generation as well. It's easy, just uh, get the vector of the playlist you like and searching around a lot of playlist, very similar in this vector space. And you also have a lot of similar artists as well. Radio station, uh, you can use some sequential model as well. In this case, you may heard about INN, LSTM. Uh, this actually already used in Spotify recommendation system. The cool thing about the application is you can even you to expand the search query 
For example, you like this song, maybe you, you don't know another song, but you like this song, and you can expand the simil similar song for compared to this song. Okay, thanks to demo. I will use the Jupyter notebook app mentioned by Eve. You cannot live without that. Okay, for pre preparation, I have to load uh, some, I think I have about 300,000 songs database. After loaded, just uh, a second. Okay. So it's just uh, 228,000. Okay, I, um, yeah, I convert it into the dictionary to very easily to get the song information, the metadata. Uh, yes, I love the beater. And this is the, the free as a bird. It's also my favorite song. Okay, just check. Uh, it is really good metadata. Okay, uh, the secret thing here is I already have the magic transformer. It takes me just a couple of hours to train the model and to get a million of the playlist and put it into the, the model I already prepared with some parameters uh, configurable. And take it take a time uh, a, a while to just load. Okay, very fast. Okay, Lam loves the Beatle music. Okay, I know. You see, uh, this is the the song name is Freeze as the Bird, and the song vector is. I try to convert the song vector as uh, the song into the vector space with 100 dimension for you to easily um, imagine. And you see that 100 number here, it can convert into the 10, point, 10, plus, uh, 10, 10 by 10 uh, picture, right? Because what the hell, wait, I hate math, I don't see a lot, I don't need to see a lot of numbers. Okay, with Matt, some beautiful library like Matt Lottlieb, Seaborn, you already know yesterday, you can, can convert the vector into the image. Okay. And you see, this is the, the song vector, the free as a bird vector in 100 dimension. Okay, now try to another some Adele songs. This is the Make You Feel My Love. Okay. How about classical music? Paganini. Okay, and you see, it's also another avatar. We call music avatar. Uh, okay. But the thing here is, Lam have listened a lot of song, classical, Adele, the Beatles. How can we convert Lam style music into the, the vector? It's really easy. Yes, several ways to do that. Okay, first, uh, you just sum on the, collect on the song you love. And the song, maybe you don't um, really love that. For example, in this case, my song is three song, and there is some uh, gangbang from Madonna. I don't like it, so I put it in people songs. It's not my song. So I convert this using the magic uh, transformer. We call the PV is mean um, paragraph vector, and I can get my vector is mean my song avatar. Okay, I can draw it for you. Very simple, right? Just plus, just mod, uh, just do a addition and subtraction. But there is a thing that, uh, there is a way we can do that even better to keep the order because you may be like the hello, the hello from Adele, uh, um, um, free as a bird from the Beatles, but you want to keep the sequence, the order of the playlist. It means that the first time you have to play the hello and the second uh, song should be um, um, free as a bird or the, the universe from Beatles. So in this case, we need to keep the order, and I have to convert the whole the the, the whole sequence into the vector with the the order. So I convert it using the inverse vector. 
if you try to use this, you can read the Genshin uh, doc 2 vec and we can convert the whole uh, sequence into one vector, it's a single vector, to keep the order as well. So this is my recommend, uh, the, the recommendation for me. Lam, okay, Lam like uh, Ali Krido, Paganini, okay, the rock, or uh, something like, Blackbird as well, because I like bird. Okay, so you see this, this is my music. So the cool thing about the work to back and neural network can easily explain to the human because that the neuron is excited by something you like. In this way, I try to bring out, okay, with, given the, my music vector is my music avatar, can you show me which neuron are excited? And you see that this is neuron 99, the red color here, 99. Okay, so it means my music is defined by some neuron. Very attractive, excited about this, this, this the music I'm listening to. Okay, there's some another neuron, something is uh, 12. 12 is maybe here. And also uh, 33 is maybe here. This is my excited neuron about my music style. Okay, now moving to um, the recommendation, can you give me, yeah, the, mag the magic transformer, can you give me more similar song like Paganini? Okay, okay, given one song, I can get, okay, 9 or 18 or maybe 100 song. It's a classical music, you see, the same vectorization. And for the personal line playlist, okay, I just add my favorite song, Okay, another song, I don't really like it. And I just print out, okay, you see that. This is my recommendation, uh, recommendation for my personal playlist. And also, we can convert the playlist into the vector, like coffee playlist. It, some guy already created the, 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 the coffee playlist. And I try to convert this playlist into the vector. Okay, and I see uh, what is the similar song for this playlist. And how does this compare to my music test? I can lot the scalar uh, to lot the, the functions uh, cosine similarity. And we can bring out the similarity of my music style, my music vector, and the coffee playlist uh, given by someone on the universe. Okay, and it's quite not really matched with my music style. So you imagine you can have a lot of application just do a lot at for your imagination. So now for the live demo, I can give you a web application demo as well. Let's take a while. Maybe I forgot the, the part number and I had to check that. Any question? Just let the feel free to ask me. Yes. Okay, let's uh, take a while. <laughs> have to wait a little bit. Otherwise, uh, maybe.
Don't worry, sometimes the demo is... Yeah, you see, this is the demo. Okay, so... I try to hide something, but it's not give me a chance, so I stop it, I, I load it from my code. Okay. Okay, you see, actually the console, console is also the best way. Very clear. Pay a lot, lot model, lot master data. What? Uh, mm -hmm. I also want to take this chance to introduce a little bit about. I can do it. Yes. Just wait a little. Okay. You see, debugger is also bad. The best option. <laughs> okay. Cannot okay, not reachable. Sorry guys, um, okay, I have to restart this one. Actually, I also use uh, the LDA a little bit in this um, model because I try to fig figure out how many genre, how many topic a team uh, of the playlist they the the human already try to to tag. No. Thank God. Why? Sorry. It's due to be fine before the demo. Okay. Maybe I turn off there.
Yes, I tried, but this is already local. <laughs> uh, okay. Python. Okay. One more time. Do you guys know how to root this thing? Work locally? Just help me. Oh, why is already used? Let me check. Yeah, it's maybe a lot of uh, pollution there. Mm -hmm. I check first. Okay, yes, yeah, some guy, some guy there. Mm. You see? It's okay. I hope this, yeah, this plan should be fine. Bam. Can I restart my <laughs> okay anyway um, yeah actually uh, we are hiring in Centify and if you want to uh, talk about more about the Centify you can come and talk with my colleague uh, David from Centify oh, you see oh. Okay, I hope this this time should be great. Mm. Yes, yes. Who can hear me?
Ah, inside the app? Oh. Yes, try it. Um, okay. So I have to turn it, the thing. Ah, okay. Hmm. Okay, get the same. One? Yes? Okay. Thank you. Hope it work. Thank you, this is really a silent demo I ever try. Okay, hello everyone, thank you so much. This is the show, okay. Uh, there is two, uh, two little demos here. I try to uh, visualize on the Disney. Uh, it's quite different compared to the PC I uh, mentioned uh, Mintao. Um, it, instead of uh, keep the variance uh, from the uh, PC for the whole structure, is to keep the local structure only. It means to keep your neighborhood. Okay, let's see is how this works. Ah. ah, okay, and you can see that from Adele is a lot of Adele, and I try to zoom out a little bit. Yes, this is the Hello song, and I project on the Disney, and I see some more uh, Michael Bublé. No, Justin Bieber, Bieber. No, it's maybe. <laughs> People try to mix a lot of Adele and, and uh, other artists as well. Okay, you can try it to, uh, now moving to some other songs like uh, Tracy Chapman, Baby Can I Hold You. Oh. And you see, this is Mary Carey. Okay, Tracy Chapman here. And look, oh, this is beautiful. Mm. And how about the Classical music. I hope to see some Vivaldi, Beethoven. Okay, fine. Now this is that means that uh, the the data we have is quite good um, in in terms of uh, classical music. You see a lot of Beethoven um, in, instrumental. Yeah, okay, I, I can you mean the demand for you. Yeah, some Vietnamese already Paganini. Paganini. Okay. Did it for the, the mapping? So for projection into a 2D. But okay, you, we can do the uh, song similarity, similarity reading uh, search by using yeah, just a list by. It's very easy for you guys to get the song name and the full information. Okay. You see the hero and the sorry. No. Justin Bieber. It's, okay. The boys like you. Okay, this guy. And let's see some. Yeah, you, you see that Allegretto from Paganini is a lot of Paganini violin there. Yes. And maybe you can try in your laptop as well if you put my. Um, okay, I don't know. Uh, this is the local one. I turn off the Wi Fi already. Okay. So that's it for my presentation. Thank you for your patience, your help as well. And I hope. Next time I will have more interesting demo for you. Thank you. Any question, please?
question. So the first one is, uh, how did you generate the, the features for your... How did you generate the features <laughs> for your sector? Like, uh, did you use just the metadata for the songs, or did you use like, you know, the frequencies and the, the reform of, your, of the songs? Mm -hmm. And the second one has more to do with uh, like the subtraction thing you mentioned. So um, you, you did the K minus China thing, right? Um, is it just like, you know, the, the vector for K minus the vector for China, mm -hmm. and then you get a new vector, and then you find like the, the one that's closest in cosine similarity or something? Okay, uh, yes, thank you for the question. Really two um, really good questions. So i answer the second question first. <laughs> okay, uh, for the subtraction, actually, yes, uh, here it, Yes, different ways, as I mentioned. Um, uh, the first is the addition, you just put on the song. It, one song is one unique ID, and the one was in, in our vocabulary already. So you put on the song, it, it contributed the, the positive meaning. And then you add the list of the negative song, and then all the, 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 the vector is plus and minus, plus, minus, at the same vector already, one vector, maybe 100 dimension, I, I already mentioned, yes? And the, yes, you, you're right, it's the third cosine similarity, just an angular distance, yes. And the, for the first one is what I do here, is I collect a millions, I think over a millions uh, playlists. And I have to convert it uh, into the unique song ID. You see, maybe hello, elderly, but hello for elderly uh, should be covered by someone, somebody else. It should, should be another song as well. So I, I have a sequence of song, millions, yes. And then I try to put it onto the work to vec and doc to vec as well, into LDA, and get 100 dimension vector for each song, uh, each playlist as well. So, and the next thing you can do, the addition, and you try to generate the playlist yourself as well. Yeah. It is answer the question? Yeah, thank you. Any other questions? Oh. Have fun. Have fun. And it's time for